friends, and welcome to another episode of Picture This with Abby. Have you ever heard us use the term DPI? That means dots per inch, not to be confused with PPI, which means pixels per inch. DPI refers to the amount of dots per inch when printed. The size of the image, of course, determines how well the image will print. So where does this fall into forever? There's only two times you ever really need to think about it. When you're using conversion or when you're going to print a project. Well, for the first one, rest assured that whenever media conversion digitizes your images, they are using the optimal DPI. We scan to print standards, so all of your future print projects with your digitized images are going to be A-OK. -okay. Negatives and slides are scanned at 3000 DPI, whereas photographs, which are already larger images in the first place, are scanned at only 600. That's because PPI, remember pixels per inch, is what really increases the file size. The dimensions of your image remain the same within DPI. Anyway, what you need to know is that media conversion is using the top resolution when it comes to DPI. And for the second thing, printing. How am I supposed to know if the image is high enough quality? Well, at Forever, we are not in the business of printing low resolution. So if we think the DPI or the PPI isn't high enough, we will give you a warning. It looks like a little exclamation mark on top of your photos. That'll warn you that maybe the image just has too low a DPI, at least for the project you're trying to do. It's much easier to do a four by six photo print than say a 12 by 12 canvas, but you'll never have to second guess it because again, Forever will give you a warning. It's important to note that higher PPIs and DPIs take up more storage space, but they also produce higher quality images. And that's all you really need to know about DPI or dots per inch and forever. Until next time, I'm Abby. Talk to you later.